Yo, yo, yo! What up, guys, and welcome back to another one! Oh, it's a lovely summer morning, and it's beautiful out. It's sitting only about 69 degrees this morning. Extra beautiful, but a lot of wind. So, during the video, if you hear a little bit of the... Yeah, it's windy. I'm sorry. But today we're at a lovely little community pond. Check it out. It's got a couple docks on it. But before we get started, I want to give a big shout out to Wukong Magnets. A lot of times during the videos, you guys are like, Bobby, what type of magnet are you using? Where can I pick up that big old magnet you're using? Well, check it out. That is a 1,700 pound magnet. One of the strongest that I've found on Amazon, on the internet, period. The great people at Wukong sent me it, and they're like, Bobby, you need to try this bad boy out. It's much larger than the other one I used to use. I usually use an 1,100 pound. So, yeah, a lot bigger, huh? But if you want to pick up any of the magnets that we're using today, I will link them all down in the description below. Oh, glad to be back out here for some magnet fishing, y'all. Y'all have been requesting, Bobby, get out there. You and your dad, get after some more magnet fishing, would you? And believe me, we've been wanting to. But we have gotten a ton of rain here in central Kansas, throughout Kansas, Oklahoma, Nebraska. It's been insane. The Midwestern states have just been getting pummeled by rain. So everything's been flooded. A lot of docks are down, a lot of docks are closed, a lot of lakes are closed, period. There's still like probably half of the lakes in Kansas that the boat ramps are all shut down because they're unsafe to launch from. But we're here today. Dad's back at it again. Look at that shirt Dad's got on. You're wearing my face, Pops. Oh, don't that look like me? <laughs> well, maybe if you turned your hat, if, if, well, if you actually wore a hat. <laughs> but I did come out with some uh, dope merch. If you guys want to help support the channel, I will link these bad boys at the top of the description below. Uh, all proceeds, all profits goes back into supporting the channel, period. Oh man, does it feel good to be out here? Let me tell you what, the 1700 pounder going in. Woo, she is deep. Pretty deep over there. Deep. Real deep. Again, guys, I'm gonna try to block the wind with my body as much as possible here. Uh, I hope I don't get a lot of wind noise for you guys. You got something? What do you got? Oh, look at you. Dang, someone's been out here tossing a, someone's been throwing an old jig head out here. Look at that bad boy. That's actually a decent bait. It's been in there for a little bit. And then someone's been out here eating steak. <laughs> That's a full blown steak knife. Hey guy, don't worry about bringing the pocket knife. Just. Just grab one of mom's old steak knives out of the drawer. Hey, good find, dad. That's good stuff. If that, if we pull that up all day, we're gonna catch a lot of good stuff. That thing's swollen. Yeah, it is. That plastic, that rubber really swelled up, didn't it? Well, first find of the day, dad is on the board. Two awesome items right off the bat. Dude, you're already beating me to smithereens. I'm sorry, I forgot my gloves at home. Oh, you don't have gloves? Oh. I'm bare hand in it today. It's been a while since we've done this, so yeah, you, you guys got to remind us down below. Get your gloves on. All right, we got the gloves on now. We're good to go. I'm going to start back over here. Give her a little fling. Do some dragging. This, this style of magnet, these side pole magnets, I haven't used very often. But I'm anxious to catch something decent with it, honestly. Nope. Nothing yet on the old 1700. There's a lot of rocks over there. Lots of rocks. But basically, my plan here is, guys, to drag it up along this rail. You'll start close, and you'll go out, and you'll go out, and just make long passing lines back and forth kind of the best way I've found to catch something. What? I don't know what it is. You got something again? Uh, well, I got a lot of fishing, fishing line and moss, if that counts for anything. Get 
give her a good old toss. We're gonna try something different. Man, that is deep. It's like, oh, darn it. Well, if it was on there, it ain't anymore. What'd you get? You got another bait? That's a little beetle spin, isn't it? Dad, on the board with another bait? You're killing it today, hey, dude. I gotta win sometimes. <laughs> yeah, last time, whoop, whoops. <laughs> whoops that got stuck oh that ain't good Oof. man that's one thing about these big magnets if you get them stuck underneath water like down on the bottom of the dock on a pole man i'm scared this thing might get snagged somewhere pretty easily that one there i wouldn't want to have my hands in between that and some metal heck no that thing well looks like i'm going to start at this end i'm going to try to run it right up along the edge of this rail here like right up along it. Cause if you think about it, if someone were to drop something and lose something, they're gonna drop it. It's either gonna bounce and fall in or they're gonna drop it right here. Out there, the only thing to really find out there, it might be a lost fishing pole that a, that a fish drug in or something. So I'm gonna give this a whirl here. Ooh, there's so ooh. Something just latched on right there. I felt it go click. Yeah, I felt something go click. Don't know what it was. Uh-oh. No way. There we go. No way. God, we always find these things. I'm telling you right now. That's actually a decent pair there. Got some nasties up in her. That's actually a decent pair, isn't it? Last year you caught the little tiny pocket size <laughs> yeah. right out there. Man, it seems like every time we go out, almost every time, I would say, what would you say, like 70% of the time we find a multi-tool. That was on my bucket list. That was number one on my bucket list. Now? Yeah. It used to be like, oh, we want to find multi-tools because it was like, you know, oh my goodness. Now it's like... Now it's another multi-tool. <laughs> now what a, my bucket list is pulling a bicycle out. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm ready to find something big, like that picnic table we found, you know? If we could find another picnic table or something like that. But we are on the board. Check it out. We got the multi-tool. We got a steak knife. And we got a really nice bait. Three good finds so far. I mean, not bad at all. Now I'm in the Boy, this wind is just horrible i'm sure you guys are getting blown to smithereens here man it feels like something oh boy i might have something big yeah something something big's coming up you might have to i do wow there's something there oh look at that it's the tree bag christmas tree this ain't the first time we found a christmas tree people i know what this is and a lot of you are going to get mad at me all you bass fishermen out there are going to get mad at me but i didn't mean to pull it up this time that's the second christmas tree we've ever found out here this is the second time we've ever been out here we came out here probably a year and a half almost two years ago we found a christmas tree over on another dock check it out here's another one people put these in here to uh to make a structure basically a living environment for bass and, and bluegill and stuff right by the docks you can come over here and jiggy up some bluegill and stuff but it's still a christmas tree because look what it gives us oh yeah look at there look at the end down there look you got a weight you got a leader what do we have down here we got a lot of you fishing line that's the thing is look at how many people have been tangled up in this that's the problem with doing this i'm not i'm not talking trash on anybody that you know does this but Essentially, what happens is people get caught up in it. Somebody's broken stringer. Uh-oh, Dad got something. What'd you get? Broken stringer. Oh, yeah, someone had... That's an old one, you yeah, can tell. Dude. It's been in there forever. Just rusted through. Old stringer, the old clamp, still works. Good find. I'm still behind. No, you're not. You're, you're not behind. I'd say your two items are beating me. Oh, feels good to be back out here chucking magnets though. It is beautiful. It's finally just beautiful, beautiful weather. 
we're going to get out here we're going to tackle these magnet fishing videos as much as we can while we have this lovely june weather before uh, july creeps up on us and just literally torches us because last year we did a lot of magnet fishing during the midday in july and august whoo it was hot a little bit of something something would be nice but we got a big nothing well guys if i can give any tips you don't have to have the craziest places to magnet fish the public places are usually going to be your best bet um public places just like this one always produce i'm telling you I'm telling you right now they always 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 produce may not catch the, the biggest the best stuff but you're always going to catch some lures maybe a uh, pocket knife never know man i'm being delicate with something here there's something on mine too we both got something coming up you got something coming up too you got a log oh what's that hold on hold on i'll help oh look what i got no oh yeah don't fall off please please no. please 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 ah no 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 i knew that was gonna happen go i can't believe that that's a that's a minnow basket yes it is i knew it was gonna fall off ah oh. i knew it was gonna fall off Golly, I couldn't grab it. There was nowhere to grab it at. That's like a brand new minnow basket. Oh, gosh dang, you might have to get down there. It's coming up again. Yeah, I get down there and grab it because it'll fall off. You're gonna have to use both hands. There's nowhere to grab it at. <laughs> Got it? All righty, there we go. Woo! There we go. Look at that. Covered in moss, too. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that looks brand new. Yeah, it is. That literally, Somebody's guys. The rope broke. Yeah, the rope broke. Guys, if this is yours, get a hold of me. Wow. But that's an awesome minnow basket. But what a find. Holy wow. smokes. That is awesome. Woo. Well, I'd say that's the best find of the day so far, for sure. And one. haven't cut the video at all. Dad's got another tree here with all kinds of goodies in oh it. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, you got a fishing pole. Grab that and fishing a, pole. This bricks are tied to this. Oh, yep. Look at the bricks. Oh, hold on, just leave it right here. Holy smoke. So this is what Holy I was talking goodness. about. Look at this. People, yep, look. Look, look at look. the bricks. Yeah, people tied to it. People tied bricks to it. Check it out. Look at that. Zip tied bricks to it. One, two, three bricks to keep it sunk. So me and you, people like me and you wouldn't pull it up. But guess what happens? This is a child's fishing pole. Oh, hold on, hold that. I got it. This is what happens to poor kids. So they bring their poles out and they end up losing it. Oh, well, we just found two awesome things, Dad. Crazy. Wow. What do we do with that? I don't know. Now, I'm curious, because this is the second one we pulled up just today. Look at this. Look at the fishing line cut strangled. Yeah, there. I mean, look at how many people have been caught. Look at the bricks on it. There's three bricks. We've never seen something like that. Huh. Well, you guys need to drop a comment down below. What should we do with this thing? People zip tied bricks on it to keep it down. I don't know. I mean, it might be it might be the park, you know, the park workers that put these in here for environment, you know. I don't want to take it out. Seeing that someone did that, I don't think I, I really have the authority to, you know. But, man, it's sad. Just like that little fishing pole, people lose stuff on it all the time. What do you want to do with it? I might drag it here in a little bit and put it over there in the corner. And then if and somebody if they want, want to leave yeah. it in here, they can put it back in here. Yeah, but that's ridiculous. Yeah, let's do that. Watch out. Watch out. Well, there goes one brick. Now, I think Dad has the, uh, the right move here. I'm going to carry this over here. If it's one of the city workers or, you know, if they're, if they're putting it in there like that, I will leave it up to them. I'm going to leave it up to them. If it is the city workers, the park workers here that are building environment, I'm going to leave it up to them to put it back in there. 
but just like this little fishing pole tangled up in it i can guarantee you that this ruined a kid's day i can i can tell you i can promise you and it's actually dang it ain't even broke it's not broke at all it's still good to go zebco 202 well look at that bubba got a new fishing pole my grandson's gonna love this one you see see magnet fishing you never know what you're gonna get yourself into if you guys are liking the video though guys you guys gotta hit that thumbs up button let's get this video over a thousand likes in a hurry pretty intense morning so far y'all i do have to say so myself um on the way here me and dad we're like man you know if we just find a little bit of something something you know don't have to find everything it'll be good to go and uh i'll tell you right now for everything we found so far holy smokes we never imagined that we would have found as much as we have already so we're just going to keep it going here see how much we can pull up got something on there what's that uh-oh no. <laughs> he goes no <laughs> oh it's not it's just a can i thought it was a skull can <laughs> it's just a rusted out can oh and we got a hook got another hook put that in the old bucket he went no <laughs> uh, seriously it's been a good day you never know what we're gonna pull up duck didn't oh that ain't bad i thought it was gonna be a lot worse if you would have had the old thousand pound yeah. and i had this that wouldn't be pretty yeah dad is actually rocking the 836 pound wukong magnet as well so like i said in the beginning of the video guys we will link uh this magnet we'll link dad's magnet we'll link my 1150 pound magnet that i like to use as well as the carabiners and the rope down in the description below well that's it boys we uh we cleaned her up cleaned her dry but i want to show you this here with the big camera check it out when i said someone zip tied bricks onto it i really wasn't kidding now again guys, I understand it provides structure and an environment for the fish to kind of breed and, and eat and live right down by the dock there. But as we saw, the kid lost his pole, man. That ain't cool. Well, what'd you think about today? I'm really amazed that there was so much in one spot that we came to last year. I came here thinking, well, we're not gonna do very well. Yeah, we didn't today. think that we were gonna do good at all. And when we started pulling this stuff up, it was like, wow, this is a really used park. Yeah, th a lot of people use this place for sure. Like I said earlier, your best bet, guys, a lot of you guys have been saying, Bob, where can, where do I need to go magnet fishing so I can catch some stuff? Guys, the first place to go before you go checking under any old railroad bridges or, or anything like that, go to your local fisheries, your local public docks. That's your best bet. But here is what we found today, guys. Check it out. Uh, some of the least uh, amusing catches would be decent bait here. Decent jig. Not bad at all. Another little beetle spin action. Little rooster tail beetle spin action. An old can that's worth nothing. Now, another multi-tool. How often? How many out of 10 magnet fishing videos, how many out of those do we usually find this? Eight. Yeah, literally. Honestly, I'd say like for sure a, a good 70% of the time, we are usually finding at least one multi-tool. There's been a couple occasions where we found two in one video. But we did find Mama's steak knife and then uh, a used old stringer that's seen better days. And then this. This is, this is really what just kind of stole my heart is this because we pulled up two Christmas trees today. Now guys, I understand for you fishermen out there, the Christmas trees help with, with bait and, and stuff like that. But this happens. This happens. If this was my son's pole and he lost it on a Christmas tree, I wouldn't be too happy. Now obviously the dad probably didn't know that it was a Christmas tree at the time, but you see what I'm saying? Not cool, man. But the best find of the day, I have to say, is the minnow basket. That thing is literally brand new. Look at the string. You can tell. Brand new. Not been used hardly at all, has it? No, that's, I would say it's been used maybe three or four times. <laughs> yeah, and then they lost it. But honestly, guys, I appreciate you guys being here. I appreciate the view. Me and dad, we love getting out here and doing this for you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the magnet fishing videos. 
and check it out oh yeah dad's been loving if, the new t-shirt like the t-shirt with my face on it <laughs> <laughs> t-shirts will be linked down at the top of the description down below i'd appreciate it if you guys support the channel help support it if you want to it's up to you guys all of the profits all of the money made goes back right into the channel to bring you guys more of these videos so guys, again, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart so much. It's a dream to be able to literally have my face on a t-shirt. I mean, it, it's pretty cool. But thank you all for being here. We will see you on the next one. Subscribe if you haven't. And be sure to turn on that little notification bell down there. Peace. I've been getting laid back. Baby, you should know that. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that